Hey everybody, it's Eddie J on Crypto for Grow My Bag, and there's a lot going on. Let's get started. There's Grayscale. There's so much going on with Grayscale, it's not even funny. So they've revamped their application for Bitcoin Spot ETF. Why? Because they want, not them, but the SEC wants credit, they want some cash. And not that they want to give them cash, but their their renewals or reversal, something like that. Give me a second. I'll actually look it up because I had in a second because it was the same thing that BlackRock did last week. Um, yay, accepting the mandate cash only orders. That's why. So they have revamped that. Now, there have also been several calls, phone calls between the SEC and certain groups. They had that big phone call with everybody last week, and then they had separate calls had their call, BlackRock had their call, 21 shares, ARK Invest had their call, Grayscale's had their call. Everybody's getting calls. There's a bit there's a story out there that BitMEX thinks that, you know, there could be a problem with getting an approval and I'm sitting back and I'm going, I don't think there's a problem. They're in on everything, you know, closer to it than we are. However, I don't think that there's going to be a problem getting an approval. So we'll have to see how that actually plays out. But that's huge in and of itself. Now, something else that's huge, and I'm wondering if Barry Silbert was told, you got to go away, bro. Barry Silbert, who's the chairman of Grayscale, who actually, who actually happens to also be the founder of Digital Currency Group, DCG. DCG, in case you didn't re realize, is embroiled in a big lawsuit, you know, against Gemini. Now, He's told he's got to step down, so he steps down as chairman of Grayscale. I think that's another huge hint that, guess what? Yeah, it's coming. So that's a big deal. Then you have Kathy Wood saying, I've got some pretty big confidence that somebody's going to get approved next year. And what are the chances of one or none getting approved next year? Yeah, no, everybody's going to get approved next year. That's, that's my bet, and I'm 100% on that one. I'm, I'm about 20% that somebody will get approved this week. Um, 20%. Last week, I think I was at 30 or 40. This week, I'm at 20. That said, that's still huge. I think early for, I think early January could do it. Everybody's thinking January 10th. And I'm like, you know, that, that could be a thing. That, that could actually be a thing. We'll see how that actually plays out. Then you have something else that's going on. In Hong Kong, I know it's far away and I know it's a part of China, but I want you to pay attention to this because you've got to look at everything that's happening on the global scale, those macro events, because they could filter down into micro events. In Hong Kong, they're allowing retail investors to invest in ETFs that deal in cryptocurrencies. And that's actually a very big deal when you think about the number of people that are there. See what I'm saying? So how that can affect how much money is spent, what's done, all that. This is why I pay attention to those things because I also want to see who else is going to do that. So we're just paying attention. And, you know, Hong Kong's not going to be left behind. So my next question is, Singapore, where are you? Europe, where are you? I'm just looking. Dubai, where are you? Just, you know, that whole region, where are you? That's what I'm looking at. Because you have the United States about to do things. You have Hong Kong doing things. Everything's just everything's just coming into focus. That's all I see right now. Uh, Binance has introduced new pairs with USDC Circle. Those pairs are Solana, XRP, Cardano, Avalanche, Polkadot, and Polygon. Polygon, which is zooming right now. I told you, don't sleep on Polygon. Polygon is one of those projects that I keep saying is a part of the connective tissue. Another one, polka dot, connective, holy smokes. If you sit there and you look at this list, these, this list, they're all connective tissue. Solana, XRP, XRP just got, just got a whole bunch of uh, Ripple bought up by uh, JP Morgan and, and a couple of others. Um, but Solana, XRP, Cardano, Avalanche, polka dot, Polygon, those are all projects of projects, meaning they're the basis for other projects. Polygon's got that huge deal with Immutable X. 
There is a lot going on that you should be paying attention to, and I think each one of these is going to wind up taking off. There's a reason why that pair was picked out. Decrease the amount of problems, not problems, decrease the dependence on Tether, right? And open up the market. This is actually a big deal because I'm wondering how come the, how come those pairs weren't there to begin with. You see what I'm saying? There, not there. Anyway, what's next? You have Shiba Inu quietly making big moves. You should start paying attention to the burn rate of Shiba Inu. Something else that we can be paying attention to in Dubai. In Dubai, sorry, I like playing with my mom's uh, my mom's bracelet. Um, she made it for me. Um, in Dubai, there's a the largest exchange is called Coin Swaps. Well, Coin Swaps has been promoting Shiba Inu. Why? Because there have been massive outflows, massive outflows of Shiba Inu from exchanges, and it says that people are holding on to their Shiba Inu. There's a lot going on there. There is a ton going on there. That's why I'm paying attention to all this stuff. Anyway, you know what we should do? We should get into the numbers. So let's get over there. All righty. So now, if let me just refresh the screen because it's been like seven minutes since I refreshed the data here. So we can definitely do that. All right. Let's just make everything big. There you go. So on the loser side, 20%. Moon River, never heard of it. Bonk is down 11%. Uh, who else is down? Moonbeam, something I had been paying attention to a while ago. Not investing, just kind of making note. Kasama is down 8%. Phantom is down 6%. Celestia is down 5%. You know I have that 5% rule. A 5% move does not make me you know, shudder or think up or down doesn't make me do anything. I just pay attention to see if there's going to be another sway, right? So, uh, you know, something can be down 5% now and then all of a sudden go back up 5%. This is what I'm talking about. And remember, that's not a 10% move, right? You're already 5% down. When you go up 5%, you're 5% of that new number. Just make sure you track your math the way you're supposed to be tracking your math. Something else that I'm paying attention to. Let's take a look at the big winners on this side. On this side, you have Optimism. That's up 27%. A Star, that's up 25%. Let's see who else I'm paying to. Arbitrum, up 15%. Polygon, up 14%. It was just 15% just a little while ago. Uh, let's see. Anybody else that I'm paying attention to. Lido is up, or Lido, however you want to pronounce it. Um, that one's up 11%. Rocket Pool is up 11%. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is up 10%. There are a lot of people, they like Bitcoin, they hate Bitcoin Cash. I'm one of those people that if I can make money, I can make money. And Bitcoin Cash is one of those things that I can make money on. So it, it being up 10%, yeah, I made some money off of that. Yes, I'm holding some. Um, Pocket Network is up 10%. Anybody else I'm paying attention to? No, Didex, you know, I don't really pay attention. I'm not holding it, but it's up 9%. It's worthy of note. All right. Then you have, I'm not paying attention to anything that's going on in the United States. The calendar, I'll look at that next year. The green index is at 73, and that's a good thing. That says that people are positive, things are going on. I think year 2024 is going to be the year of adoption. I really do. I think it's going to be a huge year of adoption. P companies looking that have e-commerce websites or wanting to build e-commerce websites, they're calling us left and right saying, hey, can you build us a website that's, you know, crypto enabled? We got you. That's, you know, AI enabled. We got you. Rebel Re Rebelreach.com and drop us a note. Drop me a personal note here. Not a problem. Um, DeFi Llama, $71 billion in total value locked. If you haven't been paying attention, it wasn't that long ago that we were in the 40s, like 48 billion. So that's a big jump. We're nowhere near what it used to be. We have a long way to go, but we're definitely on the right track. Now, Bitcoin as a number, you can see we're beyond you know, my purple band right here. We were well above 40,000. We took dips over the past couple of days, you know, past day or so. And you can see where we've, we've had those major dips that got us really close down. Then we had another dip. Everybody's panicking. Oh, we're in the 42,000 range. Why would you be thinking about that? How The only thing that I thought of when it took a dip, what am I going to buy? It's a beautiful moment to buy. Anytime I see a dip, to me, it's a beautiful moment to buy. 
right? Somebody, I, I saw an article where somebody used the word crash. Oh, there's going to be a market correction as a market crashes to $36,000. And I sat there and I giggled. I seriously got my giggle on. I don't think we're going to see that number again. Can we? Of course we can. Will we? <laughs> I don't think that's a number we're going to see again. I said it before and I'll say it again and I'll stand by that. Just saying. Um, something else that we should be paying attention to, the big board. There's ETH up deep. BNB is up. We'll get to the next list where you see Solana's movement. Matic is up a buck six. It's been a long time since it's been over a dollar. It slept. It's been sleeping for a while. It was down in 60s and 70s for a couple of weeks right there. And all of a sudden, it's up over a dollar. Don't sleep on anything that's a part of connective tissue like Link. Don't sleep on it. Optimism is up. Arbitrum is up. Just don't sleep on these things that can actually have a long-term effect on your pocketbook. Do your own research and dig in. Dig in. You can never have too much information. Corroborate stories. Look at trends. Read your charts. But do your own research. I beg of you, do that. You can make money and you can lose money based on the amount of time you're willing to put in. Be careful. Now, if you're looking at Solana, remember Solana had just passed BNB. Well, Solana dropped. It, it was up as high as 120 something thousand dollars, 123. I think I saw 125 right there for a minute. Now it's down at 106. I'm just saying, pay attention to what's going on. So it got bunny hopped by BNB again. Now, will it retake position number four? Of course it can. Absolutely. Of course it can. Right? It might be a minute. I mean, it blew by XRP in a major way. Do I think X XRP can get back in that top five? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. With the number of transactions that are going to happen with XRP, I think it's going to I think that could actually happen. Have if, Are you not paying attention to USDC? Now, it's a stable coin. But look at where it's ranked right now. Number seven. Not bad. All right. Looking at Avalanche, number nine. Doge back in the top 10. What? Yeah, 9.3 cents. That's right. That's right. Polkadot at, you know, ranked number 11 at 11 billion. Polygon's right on the heels. Can Polygon get back into the top 10? Absolutely can get back into the top 10. Absolutely. freaking lutely Absolutely, freaking lutely Doge is up only because Elon had said something about it, and everybody's wondering what the payment system will be when it launches for X. Granted, totally get it. Other than that, what are the use cases for Doge? If Elon's your only cheerleader, what are the use cases for Doge? Just saying. Mm -hmm. Polygon's got more than just a little bit of use cases. Polygon's involved in a lot of stuff. Web3, metaverse stuff, gaming, um, DeFi, in addition to everything else that it's got going on. These are really, really big things. And that's why I look at Polygon as connective tissue, right? Link, largest oracle in the world. There are others. There are others that do a good job. This is the one I pay attention to. This is the one, especially with their new ties with Swift and all that good stuff. This is going to be huge. Have you been paying attention to? That's right. Ton coin. Just saying. Break number 15, you know, right below that is Shiba Inu. I think I think Shiba Inu can overtake ton. I really do. They've got a lot of stuff going on. And on top of that, their burning is burning up. So again, do your own research. Pay attention to what's going on out there. Anyway, this is Eddie J for Grow My Bag TV. Don't forget, we for everything I spoke about today, there's a written article on growmybag.tv. Go check it out. There's a lot more information there, and we've got more coming. Hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.